Uh, my name is Kamal Warren and uh, I day trade the FTSE 100. Is that something you ever get involved in? Uh, I've, I've traded the, uh, or rather I should say, I've tried traded the Forex market because um, I thought maybe I could apply the same principles I applied to the FTSE to the Forex uh, market. But it's one of the questions I've been asked many times by some other traders that, that I know of. It's uh, whether Forex, because I trade principally going by chart patterns, yeah. and the question is posed whether the concept of applying chart patterns to forex does it work uh, i have not applied and tested the, uh, the forex market with, with regards to chart patterns and i suspect the reason why many traders ask me this question is because probably they're losing money in in forex but the the answer one can only answer the question if enough research and 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 time has gone into uh, starting those market, applying the chart patterns, etc. But I personally, I, d I don't trade trade the forex because I just find it'll be too much for me. Because in in concentrating on the FTSE alone, it's um, it takes takes up a lot of time, yeah, and trying to understand and and a market that I'm familiar with. So trying to do two other markets at the same time would be would be quite an impossible feat for me personally. Yeah. So why does the forex market behave differently? Well, uh, I think the forex market can be a bit spiky. Uh, what I mean by that is it, the price just fluctuates too much. So, you know, if you look at a, how a candle pattern forms, uh, the forex uh, it spikes a lot up and down, as opposed to FTSE, which is a bit more chilled out, <laughs> I should say, you know, which which moves uh, in a much more uh, relaxed fashion comparatively. Uh, and I, I just don't like trading I in my attempt to trade the forex. Uh, the spikes sometimes can stop you out, and, and I just I don't like that. Do you think maybe some people choose forex because of that? Because it is very well. It's, again, it comes down to individual traders' preference. Uh, probably some people might trade the forex because it's it's a very actively traded market. Uh, it can same thing can be said about the FTSE as well. But you know. I don't know. Maybe they, they find that the the movement in fo forex in terms of the pips that it moves, especially when you hold a position, it can be greater than the FTSE because the FTSE, even on the best day when it when it plunges or when it rises, uh, you know, it can go on a, on a worse day, maybe 100 100 pips or you know, which which happens very rarely, but maybe 100 150 pips, uh, pips on a worse day c could have gone I don't think it's gone ever north of 200 pips uh, with the exception of 2008 but unlike that a forex market can move 100 pips uh, it's not unusual so maybe because uh, some traders might prefer that so it's part of the reason why you trade the FTSE because it has set opening and closing times well, well yes because um, that helps because there are a lot of other markets as well they've got set opening and closing times for example uh, individual comp company shares or other indices for that matter uh, although the FTSE really the trading hour the FTSE 8 to half 4 uh, London trading time it opens and closes but after the closing time at half 4 it's still you know you can still trade if you want to because the 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 FTSE moves according to what the Dow Jones does you know in America etc but for me the action that happens between eight to half four it, it helps that it opens and closes at, at that particular time